Hey everyone, how's it going? Today we are going to cover the things I learned when playing a new playthrough with Heavy Bowgun. I am mainly focusing on the base game as well as DLC, however we are not focusing on the end game and not focusing on the post game. There are multiple guides for that already, there is a lot of content for that. However, as for progression guides, I didn't find anything at all. That's what I made this for, I wanted to have an idea what I'm talking about when I talk about heavy bowgun progression. At first I tried to focus for Vivan Snipe over Vivan Heart because I like that special ammo type more. However, the Shatter Crystal line and the Undernath Spread line are just so much better for their respective ammo types that you just want to focus on those two instead and use nothing else. At first I tried to roll out of damage, but as you see it is very very slow and I got so frustrated by that. And even if you put Evacuate Tender on that, that just lengthens how long you roll, like the distance. But there is still an animation delay from your input. So, so that cluster hit me so much. However, once I put shield on my heavy ball gun, I enjoyed it so, so much more. You can just tank so, so much. And now the question is, which one do you focus on? Do you want to focus on spread or do you want to focus on pierce? And usually the answer would be depends on the monster. If you have a large or long monster, you can use peers. If you have a monster with a large head that stands in front of you or with a large area, you want to focus on spread instead. However, the Shadow Crystal line is just so much better that once you get to Ligiana in low rank, you just want to focus on that instead. Like forget all the other weapons, forget Jagras, forget underneath forget even the nurgle roar it doesn't matter just focus on the shatter crest and i'm going to tell you why you have high capacity with the best piercing ammo type you have recoil plus two and the way recoil works is zero and one have no recoil plus two and plus three have moderate recoil and plus four has a lot of recoil so with only one recoil mod you get this to recoil plus one which is no recoil and it has normal reload which is on the fast end whereas the spread ones have a slow reload speed and also recoil plus two so you need recoil and reload support in the mod which means you can put less shield on them and now let's compare the shooting speed identical I would say. However, I personally found the Pierce one from the Shatter Crest line. Not because it's Pierce, but mainly just because of its stats. So much better. Like I liked it so much more. And once you reach a DLC, you want to focus on this one. On the Crimson Kalachi line. You get 6 capacity you get recoil plus 2, which you reduce to recoil plus 1 with a recoil suppressor. And you have normal reload. And this weapon, I just love this weapon so much. Look at the speed. And you get it very early on in the DLC. It's the third boss you fight. You have the Biotodos, the Bambaro, and immediately afterwards you have the Viper Tobi Galachi, and then you can get this weapon. And it and you should absolutely use this weapon throughout the entirety of the DLC until you get to the post game. In the post game, you probably want to focus on using the Loyal Thunder from Zinogre, which happens to be a spread weapon until you reach the end game. And then you will find other content that is much more suited for that. However, from what I gathered, it seems to revolve around the Four Buster from Fatalis and the Safi Rapid Cannon as well as the Safi Spread Cannon. And there is one more thing I want to mention. In the options, there are two options you want to change. One is this. By default, it is set to auto sheath. You never want to auto sheath. Just put it to manual sheath. Trust me, you will like this so much more. You do not want your weapon to sheath in the middle of a combat. The second one is this one. So this one is very tricky. Per default, it is set on this. So what this does is it sets your run and your sheath to both 
the left joystick and RB. However, it came with a problem for me. Because when I aimed and when I wanted to shoot, I would cheat my weapon instead. And that annoyed me so much. And the reason for that is because you use the joysticks to reposition and aim. However, if you press a bit too much, you will just cheat the weapon instead. And to avoid that happening, you absolutely want to change it to RB only instead. Which heavy bowgun is your favorite? Please feel free to let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, I would appreciate if you could like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.